You know, this show, given its etchy premise, has been delivering on shonen elements more than actual shonen shows. It's actually incredibly hype. The plot is actually good, but then we have episodes, and I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking about ridiculous. This. Think about last episode. What actually happened? So. Rias and Akino are kind of obsessing over Issei. Rias tells Akino to treat Issei. Akino gives Issei Gok Gok 9000. Rias comes and gets mad, gets mad at Issei. They start fighting. And then Zenobia comes in later and says, have my babies. And then Rias gets mad at Issei again. And then the white dragon shows up at the very end. It's a, it's a more of a fan service episode. But when you take a step back and really think about what actually happened in the episode, I'm left there thinking, what the fuck am I watching? But again, the shonen elements, the battle themes, the actual plot, not those big plots, the actual plot, it's getting pretty good. Let's begin today's reaction. Emperor of White Dragon, he's showing up. Gary Oak, dude, look at him. Oh. Does his pen burn too? Valleys? I feel like we're not enemies, though. You know? Well, maybe we are, but I think we're friendly rivals. If I... Is that Durandal? Is that Durandal? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, our entire crew is here. That's kind of true, and Vali kind of the one shot. Vali pretty much one shot Kokabio. Do it. Do it. I want to see a fight. Do it. Damn, Valley made them drop. This is 4v1. 4v1. Still pretty low. When he balance breaks, though, I think it's high. Four digits from the top? One and a half of this. <laughs> Bro, now, surely you're saying this so that we can get stronger, right? You're going to help us, right? You're going to help us, right? No, oh, but you're going to train us, though, right? Oh, shit. Dude, entire family's here. Dude, it's seven on one now. But don't worry. This is like a casual Tuesday afternoon for Freed. Freed has been, again, hard carrying. And Vali saved Freed. What is this, a warning? Whoa, what are you doing? Dude, look at his popped collar jacket, though. Vali is so cool. He should have a harem. Vali is actually so cool. Bro, he might be one of my favorite characters in the show already. <laughs> Wait, we missed the treatment! <laughs> no, they skipped! I mean, I guess he can't do back-to-back -back gawk, gawk episodes. So cool. He fights just like Issei, but opposite, right? Divide, gain power. Issei, double, give away power. But it's because we haven't trained properly yet. Why are we always fighting rivals? Like, what? Okay, God, Fallen Angels, Devils, but dragons are just doing whatever they want? So it's actually four factions. Two stupid dragons decide to start a petty fight. The red and white. Yeah, you guys, you two. So why were you just fighting? Why? Like, everyone's having like a three-way war and the dragons are like, fuck it. We're gonna get involved, but I don't care about anyone else. Bro, the dragons are fucking up their war so much they decided to unite just to stop the dragons. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then the dragons decided to just destroy everybody? The petty god and Satan. The dragons really are transcendent. They don't need, they, they, they see themselves above everything else. Holy shit. Dude, look at those wings, man. The vanishing dragon wings. So we have a gauntlet. Valleys is like wings, huh? Yeah, they're, again, I don't think it's hostility. I think it's like camaraderie, respect, some kind of rivalry. I feel like Valley is just gonna team up with us, right? Like, in a, we're gonna have a fight, but I expect Valley to join our side. That's right. Focus on your goals right now. That's right. Big titties. That's right. Now, what are we doing again? Our shitty friends. Yes. Zenobia wants to have our babies. Because they're shitty friends that would never be happy for you, you say. If they were truly good friends, they would be so proud and happy for you. But instead, they're so jealous and envious. I get it, it's just a running gag, it's a bit. Them shitting on Issei is supposed to, you know, show their, their friendship, right? It's funny bit, but still at the same time, again, she wanted the babies. But again, they're, they're pretty shitty friends. What'd you say? What'd you say? Um, babies? Babies? You want to procreate? You want Issei's genetics? Uh-huh. 
Condoms? Oh, four of them. Ash is too innocent. Ash is too innocent. One for you too, Ash. <laughs> But, like, I'm pretty sure everyone in the club are virgins. Like, Ria, Sakuno, like, everybody is virgins here. I'm pretty sure. Kiryu again. This fiend. This demon. This sex demon. What is the purpose of Kiryu? Is she just for fan service? I'm expecting Kiryu to be, like, part of the important, I don't know, fallen angels or some shit. Why isn't Zenobia coming out with a Durando right now? <laughs> nice, nice angle. Cameraman? Come on, bro. And uh, Zenobia's pink. First practice. <laughs> Zenobia's great. She's great. I think... Vali is genuinely maybe looking out for Issei, telling him like, Yo, you're weak runner. You gotta get stronger, man. Ah, Parents' Day! That's right! Serzik showed up for Parents' Day. Leviathan. Big sis. Oh, we're gonna see Leviathan fight. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want more gok gok time? No, it, it's kind of swelled up. No, no, no. No, you said it's doing bad. No, it hurts right now. You fucked up. <laughs> By the way, this one is called Ara Ara Ufufu. The other one is called Uhuhu. The theme one jazz. <laughs> she gets so jealous of the gok gok man. Akino has two jazz themes. The second one is dedicated for the fucking gok gok scenes. Isn't that insane? Ara, ara, oof, oof, oof. Oh, oh my god, Zenobia, immediate. Usually the first transition isn't the nipple, the second one is. Who? Who? Oh. Look at all these regular parents. That's our dad and mom. Where's Serzex? Wait, Rias isn't in this class. I'm scared. Well, uh -oh, what will Zenobia make? I would make a dildo, bro. I'd just make a fucking dick. <laughs> Mom and dad are more happy about Asha than fucking Issei. What are these two idiots? What's Kiryu doing? What's Ki Ah, Kiryu's making some cylindrical shape. Uh-oh. <laughs> titties. Big boobs. Gigantic titties. Melons. Mountains. Calcium cannons. That's right. Could you make this, though? What do you do? Wait, that is, is magic subconsciously? This is like the sa same type of magic that was used for a dress break. Oh my god, the nipples are... Oh my god. I'm not gonna censor those. That's actually very impressive. Like, <laughs> wait, I think... I actually made Rase. We haven't seen Rase in a long time. Yes, absolutely. No fucking shot we're gonna trade. Nope. More. You're gonna sell for 500,000 yen. It's actually a really impressive figurine. Mom and dad are actually proud too. Uh, the other parent. <laughs> look at the other parents look. Such <laughs> judgmental eyes. That's actually really good. Better than Rudy? Better than Rudy and Mushoku Tensei? Yes! Akino next! Of course. Oh my god, Asha getting cucked again. That's a lot of tits this episode, huh? Magic girl. Oh, magic girl! The transition scene. Yeah! Who is it, though? Rias knows? Who is this girl? Cosplaying. Milky Spiral 7 implying there's 654321. Who is she? I don't think we know her. Oh, yeah. First couples. Uh, in the first season. He was a magic girl. Milton. Saji. Is he part of the the other family? I mean, if the girl enjoys it, all right. I think she was enjoying herself. Wait, what, what are you? What is she's Leviathan? Oh my, oh. Milky, milk. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like Moe Moe Kyun. Didn't really impact him though. Saji Giga Chad. Is this Big Sis? Is this Big Sis? Big Sis is a lo little girl? What the fuck? This is Leviathan? Right? Is it? Big Sis! Big Sister is a little sister! This is Leviathan? Cause 
She's been like foreshadowed and kind of hyped up with Kokabio previous. Oh my god, do you hear those jiggle sounds? It's like slime. But, like, Leviathan, Serzex, like, these were like important siblings. What the fuck? One of the four great Satans! So now we know Serzex, and we know her now. Oh my god. This is not what I expected of Leviathan. Seraphal. Why is Seraphal such a weeb? I'm, I'm all for it. So, their actual mom and dad, I don't know where they are, but it's like for them, it's like their siblings have shown up. Mmm, even she knows. Hello, I'm gonna be Harm King. So formal. She looks so embarrassed. Look, look at the big si little sister looking around. Oh my god, white. Here comes another one. Leviathan! Okay. She looks so embarrassed. Look at, look at little sister. You're embarrassing me. Oh, why not? That attire is fine. <gasps> How are you gonna make big sister upset? Why is she so into magical girls though? What? Why? Why is she? Why is she so into it? <laughs> this dude, dude. Yeah? I want to see your fight. Level countries in seconds? She's just embarrassed? What? She loves it that much? Uh huh. Big Siscon. Tr cause trouble? I guess, but then Seraphal would go crazy and would have just annihilated everybody? That's why we didn't call her? <laughs> that's actually cute. They ain't did anything. That's not the only thing that's full. Well, Sarzex isn't really like that. Sarzex does adore. They're all eccentric, though. Okay, okay. Hmm. Wonder who the rest of the two Satans left are. Dad? Sarz. Dad? Not Sarzex. Oh, oh, oh! We can actually see Dad. Wow. What? Holy shit. Damn. Damn. He, he looks really good. But wh I thought Sersex would show up to be parents day, but the actual dad showed up. Oh, okay. What's his name? Watch him sleep over in Issei's room too. Okay. Bye. I wonder how important he is, but... Sersex. Dude, I, who's the grandpa? I want to see the grandpa now. Damn, we got the sashimi up, the pizza. Interesting combo. Okay, we got a little bit of everything. <laughs> Look at Rios. <laughs> Mom is more proud about Asha than you say that. The dads are already drunk. Dude, Serzex and Dad looks identical, except Dad has, you know, the little goatee beard thing. It's always so cute to see the strong Rias like this. Gatmoe. Riatan? Riatan? Mini? This is actually really cute, though. They got their loving parents. Like, what? Dad and Big Bro loves you so much. Why are you upset? I guess it's more like I'm being embarrassed. I'm being treated like a toddler, you know? I, I get it. I get it. But later you'll realize that they actually do love me. Yeah, the parents are getting along. Everything's going great. Mm, what are you upset about then? Yes? What kind of question is that? Aww. What? All the bloodshed's a little fucked up? <laughs> we're, we're just dragged into a war? It hurts. Yeah, why don't you be the boyfriend then? Actual kiss? No, wait, wait. This isn't the first time they actually kissed, is it? I can't remember. F f I don't know. I've been, I've been smoking that good shit too much. Oh. Of course, Asha cucks. But was this the first time they actually kissed? Did season one, did something like that happen? <laughs> Onisama wants a little choo-choo too. Huh? 
release the other. We have another bishop piece. Bishop as well as, you know, we have a, a, a rook left, right? We have a rook and a bishop, right? His ability. His ab a male bishop that we already have. Serzex decided that it was too dangerous? More backup? More new characters? Oh shit? Who is this dude? Oh shit, this is getting hyped. Yeah, like Lucifer, one of the four great Satan, decided to seal it away. That means this guy, this new bishop's gotta be crap. Oh! That room! That's what that was. They're casually just kind of skipping the role of the the dad of Grimory family. So, you know, you got Rias and you got Serzex, which is one of the four great Satans. I don't think dad is currently Satan level. So what is he just retired and just chilling around? They all look the same. Like Serzex and dad basically same, except a little bit of like a beard, right? And Rias is basically girl version of Serzex and Rias. They're all great. They're all great. Now, Lucifer as well. Oh my gosh, she is, no, sorry, not Lucifer. Leviathan is another weeb cosplayer, fantastic. And now we have another character showing up, a bishop, a male bishop that was sealed away, deemed so dangerous by Lucifer himself. Kind of gets you very hyped up. And Vali showing up in the beginning. I think Vali's not, he is an enemy, but this is not like, like a, a really evil person. It's just like a friendly camaraderie, rivalry, just like almost like friends that just like kind of banter is the feeling i'm getting whenever dragon albion talk i think Vali will probably help us and in fact if anything maybe Vali was warning us in the beginning or saying at least hey you gotta get stronger man because if we're gonna actually duel and have fun and fight like you gotta be you know at my level which is ultimately gonna help everyone out but hey if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care